Methods used for the separation of solid-solid mixtures by mechanical picking or hand picking. This method is used for the separation of the components of a mixture in which the constituents have different sizes and different colors. Magnetic separation This method is used for the separation of components of mixture in which one of the components is magnetic. For example, a mixture of iron filings and sand can be separated by using a magnet. Gravity separation This method is used for the separation of components of a mixture in which one of the component is much lighter than the other and is also lighter than water. Sublimation This method is used for the separation of the components of a mixture in which one component undergoes sublimation, whereas other does not. Example, take the mixture of ammonium chloride and common salt in a china dish. Cover it with an inverted funnel and its open end is closed with cotton wool. The walls of glass funnel are kept cooled. On heating ammonium chloride sublimes and condenses on the cooler parts of the funnel, whereas common salt is left behind. The fine powder of ammonium chloride deposited on the funnel is scraped with the help of a knife. By solvent extraction. It is the process of dissolving one of the components of the mixture in a suitable solvent, such as water, whereas the other component is not soluble in that solvent. For example, a mixture of charcoal and sulfur can be separated by this method. The mixture is treated with carbon disulfide, which dissolves sulfur, whereas charcoal is left behind. The insoluble charcoal is separated by filtration and is dried. From the filtrate, sulfur can be obtained by evaporating carbon disulfide. Separation of solid liquid mixtures by sedimentation and decantation. In this method, the mixture is allowed to stand. When the solid particles settle down as sediment, whereas clear liquid is left behind, which is poured out carefully. This process is called decantation. For example, a muddy water can be separated by this method. But complete separation is not possible. By filtration. In this method, the mixture can be separated by using filter paper. When the suspended solid is left on the filter paper, whereas the clear liquid passes out from the filter paper, called filtrate, and is collected. The solid left behind on the filter paper is called residue, and the clear liquid that passes through the filter paper is called a filtrate. By distillation the process of converting a liquid into vapor by heating to boiling point and condensing the vapor to get the pure liquid is called distillation. In this process, mixture of solid and liquid is taken in a distillation flask. On heating, vapor of liquid, that is water, are produced. These are condensed in a condenser and collected in a receiver. 
the non volatile solid is left behind by evaporation evaporation is a process of changing a liquid into a gaseous state by heating it at a temperature below its boiling point common salt can be obtained from a mixture of common salt and water by evaporation the mixture is heated in a china dish using sand bath when water vaporizes whereas common salt is left behind by using separating funnel separating funnels are long glass tubes provided with taps this method is used for the separation of liquids which are immiscible when the mixture is put in separating funnel the heavier liquid forms the lower layer whereas the lighter liquid forms the upper layer these layers can be collected in separate beakers by fractional distillation the process of separation of two or more miscible liquids by distillation using fractionating column and applying the principle of difference in boiling point separation of alcohol from water and alcohol a fractioning column is introduced in the distillation apparatus when the mixture of alcohol and water is heated the vapor rises up the column cools and condenses to liquid and falls back the hot vapors rising up the fractioning column come in contact with the liquid falling down in the flask the hot vapors transfer their energy to the cool liquid and changes them back to vapor the change of liquid to vapor and the vapor changing back to liquid takes place several times giving the effect of several distillations the vapor that finally enters the condenser contains the liquid with lower boiling point